So, thank you, thank you. And you're welcome to... So, Ms. Gucci, well, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and okay. um, we'll go from there. Uh, I'm just trying... Okay. I'm, I'm going to also turn this off. I have a... Sure. I'm going to turn the Bluetooth speaker off and use the speaker that's directly on the phone. Can, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I'm getting you clearly. Okay. Are you getting any static? What is it? Don't worry about it. So, has has Guti tell tell my tell my viewers where are you and what are you doing now? Where where are you living? Um, tell us about the place where you live. Um, I've I've already mentioned that you you are in the Gambia in Africa, but explain exactly where you are. Yeah, I'm in the Gambia, West Africa. I'm doing and, us right now. I'm painting. Okay. Yeah. And, and could you give the? Could you tell us the how how many people would live where you live? What's the population? Right now here. Yes. What? How many people would live in the same in the same community as you? What, the city. What's the population of the city where you live? Hi, Matash. Oh, it, oh, it's like you know. I would say 15 to around 20,000. 20,000. Okay, that gives us it. So, <clears throat> Hasguti, may I ask how old you are? Because I don't even, I, I asked you for your birthday, but I didn't ask you for the for the year. May I ask how old you are? Uh, 29, 19. 29. And I know that yeah, you were, 19. I know that you were, you are in Aries, and we're going to talk about that later. So, uh, so. Um, so that gives me a sense of, you know, my perspective and what I can ask you in, in terms of my references. So how old were you when you realized that painting was something that was going to be a part of your life? Like, when, when did you first pick up a paintbrush? Yeah, it was it's like, you know, I can say it, you know, during my school days. Yes. Yeah, I realized that because I see that this thing, it's a natural gift to me. Yes, I, and, and, and you're very spiritual about it as well. I've been reading your posts on Instagram, and you always have yeah. such encouraging words in your posts for people to strive to be the best that yeah. they can be. And, um, and you say that so beautifully, both in your own words and also in the words of others that you are quoting. And so... What is the message that you would give to young artists who are, let's say, let's say, you know, even somebody who's who's just finishing high school, um, you know, who's not that much younger than you, but who's may, very much younger than me. <laughs> and um, <laughs> but but what what advice would you give to a young person who, if they said, Hasgudi, I'm thinking. I might want to be like an artist like you, like to, to, to follow my, my dream. What would you say? How, what would you say to that young person? Yeah, it's like, you know, in anything you are doing, life is like in anything you are doing, to believe your process, whatever you're doing, either whether it is art or not, but you believe in what you are doing. And be so in it, like. Hmm? Go ahead, continue. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. So, believe in it, and yeah, and so yeah. in in all of that, believing in what you were doing. Yeah. What do what would you say? In your thirty years, has been the most difficult time or moment in your life. Mm, yeah. The difficult moment in my life is just like, you know, it's like, you know, I was born, I don't found my father. My father left me before I was born. Okay. And my mother left me, you know, in 2000. And my elder brother left me in 2007. 
So it's like I was there with my sisters, the older brothers. By the time I was going to school, yes, yes, and sometimes I'd be just going to school like that, you know, without even having a fare to take transport. But sometimes people bring their artwork. These grade nine school students bring their artwork to me, practical. Start doing those things, and they pay me. So I used to take those. But they pay me. That's what I take. I used to travel to go to school. Right. Yeah. So. So. Those ones. So what? What? I think you you said it earlier. Uh, you alluded to it. What would you say is behind you? pushing you to always get up in the morning and say, Hasguti, you are going to be the best person you can possibly be today. What 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 keeps that in your mind? What do you do? Is it is it your artwork that allows you to free up your mind to think that way? Yeah, it's my artwork because during my younger days, I remember since I would meet with, with my mother I used to do this, I used to take this cartoon to make cars with my own hand. Mm. Yeah, and some elders will bring their kids to tell me that, you know, we want you to do this for my kids so oh, you can okay. take and play with it. Yeah. So when I think about that, I used to say to myself, yes, this one, I have to be in it. Because I realized it since my younger days, I do practice things like that. And still now, when my mind goes to those ones, those ones, my younger days. And <clears throat> what would you say is your happiest moment that you remember in your in the first thirty years of your life? Twenty nine, thirty years. What's what's the the mo what's the moment in you that you realized something about yourself that was remarkable? Well, that's you know I can say it's um, 2010. I started to paint a one portrait. It was long time 2010. The time I finished, I was not expecting the portrait how it looks like, but I see the people. You really take it as it is. That's <laughs> wow. I said, Oh, I was so still, I still remember those days. You know, I said to myself, Wow, it was one of my boy. He's a barber. He's a barber. Yes. So, he, uh, yeah. So he asked me to paint her shop. So I right. take her portrait. I said, Let me go and try this. Take to home, I paint it. Everyone say that, oh, this is wonderful. This is great. It looks fine. It looks exactly the person you paint. I said, wow. I said, wow, okay. That's it. I was not expecting it's like that. But I see people around there, they all appreciate it. <laughs> like, it's wonderful. Do you find yourself painting people as a way of saying thank you to them? Huh? And who so, are those people? Who are those people that you would say helped you and you would say thank you to by you know, does anyone do do you ever ask to paint somebody and, and give it to them as a gift for because you want them to know how that you, you want to say thank you? Do you ever I just wonder? Yeah, I was last year I painted, you know well, around five artists, singers, they are singers in the Gambia here. Okay. Yeah, I surprised them as a gift, you know. Oh, but lovely. Still, yeah, and, but still, even right now, I got their paintings, you know. Some some received it, some didn't receive it still. They are with okay. me here in my room. Yeah. Maybe you can... Well, I know, I know, Hasguti, if you, if you painted a portrait of me, I would want to make sure I got it in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm painting right now. 
I'm sorry? I said, that's the portrait I'm painting right now. No, really? <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you? Uh, whoa. I, I, let me see. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I, I recognize that hat. But, oh, you recognize that oh, hat. Oh, you are such a sweet man. Thank you. I'm oh, so, oh you're my You're welcome. <laughs> Well, oh, I, I'm blushing. Like, I'm, my cheeks are the same color as my hat. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow, wow, thank you. Wow. It's, we were meant to have this conversation. Oh, you know what? This, this, yeah. this is, I'm so moved. Sure. How do you say thank you in your first language? What is the, what, what is the native language of Gambia? What? what? What is the native language of Gambia? Gambia. Gambia. You say what? What is the what is the what is, the, what is the, the most universal language spoken in Gambia? Mandinka. Okay, so how do you say thank you in Matinka? Paraka. Paraka. I say paraka to Para. you. Paraka. <laughs> That's beautiful. Paraka. That's beautiful. La baraka. Thank you. Um this is very I'm very moved. That's very I'm Thank you. So, what? Um, who would you say is the person, whether you know them or whether it's somebody that you've read about or somebody that you admire in history, it's, they don't have to be alive uh, necessarily, but who would you say has influenced you most in your artistic vision of the world and the way you paint it and the people that you paint? I was staying with one area I was staying, half a brother there called Ibrahim. Yes. He's a teacher uh -huh. and a painter at the same time. Okay. Yeah, he once traveled to America. He was very good in sketching. So I was there by then, you know, I cannot paint, but I can sketch somehow. Right. Yeah, and when I'll be sketching with my drawing books, you know, my friend just, they will be coming to me saying that, oh boy, do you know Ibrahim? He said, they said, Mr. Sao, do you know that teacher? He said, yes. <laughs> and they told, they told me that, oh, that man can draw and can paint nice. When you <laughs> draw a portrait, you're going to see that, oh, this is a real image. This is a real photograph. They said, wow, <laughs> really? And I told them that my reply to them that is, one day I will be like him. Some will just laugh. Say, oh, no, boy, you cannot be <laughs> you, no. I said, but I have one, my, one of my friends, he trusts me. He said, boy, why not? He said, you can be more than him. Exactly. Listen to your friend and listen to your heart. So, you see, it's all about it's all about the brain knowing what the heart feels, and you know exactly. you know you can paint, and you know how you feel when you paint, exactly. and that's you know, and and I think you said it, I think I read you said said it once that you would paint no matter what, or or you encourage people to just do their art form no matter what, and not to worry about, you know, the, just just only worry about having the materials you need to do your art form. And whatever that is, and um, so here's my next my next question for you, Hasguti. Who were some of the what were some of the obstacles or some of the people that you felt did not support you in your reinvent your 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 be becoming an artist, as it were, you know, as a younger person? Was there anyone that sort of stood in your way, or some or something that stood in your way? Yeah, you know, in Africa here, especially in Gambia, to have those, it's, it's, I remember, you know, by the time, you know, there are people, instead of encouraging, they were like, 
saying to me that, oh, you are doing this, you know, but it's useless. Why not you stop this and go and do another job? <laughs> yeah. To them, yeah. They even direct me to say that, you know, oh, why not you go, if you join services, police officers, or you be a, a soldier? I do say to them, oh, no. <laughs> so to them, but no, you see my hands, I'm not strong. I'm not, I can't be a soldier. I have yes. fingers. I only can deal, I can only deal with brushes. That's what right. I told them. Yeah. So, but today, they realize that what the boy was saying before, now he's doing it. I even got exactly. call from them. Those guys called me, told me that, oh, why? Why not when you have jobs at somewhere else, you take me along? <laughs> or you take me to your gallery? I tell them, that, oh, no, I don't have a gallery. I don't have a gallery. So, uh, right. See? Yeah. You're a leader, not a follower. You are a leader because you. when you, when you when you when you follow your heart, you're leading with you are leading with your joy, and oh. it is very evident that you are a joyful person when you are doing what you love. Now, do you have other examples? You were showing us a few of the, the that 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 early, that group of young people who sing in a band. You were showing me that. Do you have some pick, pick, paintings you could show us? That you've done yeah. and talk about yeah, them. Yeah, I have, yeah. I have them here. Yeah, could you show us? Yeah. That, the one with the yellow. Let's talk about that one. The one with yellow. Yes, please. I think that's my favorite. I said. Well, now, okay, but now yeah, that I see that you're doing a painting of me, I have. To, I think that will be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is, oh, this is very fine. I really like this this work. Are you pleased with this, Hasguti? Are are you happy with the way the painting turned out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm very happy about the painting. The way I do it, you know, I'm very happy about it. Uh, do you ever get sad about leaving, let, letting a letting a piece of art go? with the owner, so to speak? Do you ever miss a piece of art that, I mean, not that you're gonna get it back from them, but <clears throat> have you ever, do you ever, do you have a hard time separating yourself from your work? What up? Do you, do you have a hard time seeing paintings leave your home to go to the, you know, that if somebody, if they, like this painting here, Oh, this one. That's a great, yes. Now we, that belongs to somebody that you painted it for, correct? Yeah. Okay. So when that when that leaves your home, will you be sad yeah. to see that picture go? That painting? Oh no, absolutely no. I won't feel sad. The saddest part is I'm seeing it here, <laughs> <laughs> and you know that it should be somewhere else. So uh, that's a, you're a pretty sharp cookie, there, Mister. <laughs> You're pretty sure. <laughs> so, um, Hasguti, have you ever heard the expression success is the best kind of revenge in the sense that all the people that were negative in some ways towards you while you were trying to pursue as a younger person your art form, do you think now that your success means even that much more to you because of the of the obstacles or the people that you had to overcome. I was like those ones, you know. I term them, you know, like you know, for them, I don't blame them. Right. Yeah, and I see that maybe what I see. And the way they see it's different. Right. Yeah. So even right now, the way I'm moving with my things, with my arts, I feel like it's going fine. And I'm seeing myself that, yeah, I'm doing it good. But for them, I don't care them anymore. No matter what they said now, it's fine. I'm always going. I'm just going. So I don't 
since the beginning they say do this do that i don't listen to them <laughs> till now when they come and if they give me good idea to go to proceed i will see if the idea is fine i will take it but if not good i want to pass it out so with with so, what you just said with what you just said what advice would you give yourself at 13 years of age when you were 13 as now that you're a young man of 30 what would you tell yourself when you were 13 years old because 13 is a very hard time in a young person's life particularly well yeah. just, just blanket right? so what would you say what would you say to your younger self believe in yourself believe in your process and ah. and has duty has duty yeah. when did when did that moment in time come for you when you believed in your process and believed in yourself and you knew there was going to be no turning back you're not going to go into the army you're not going to do whatever other people want you to do but rather you're going to follow what your brain knows and your heart feels when was that moment was it was it last week was it last year was it when you were 20 was it when you were 50? like what convinced you what can what gave you that strength to go forward we're saying i'm not going back i'm not just saying i'm going to do it i'm doing it i am doing it i am an artist everybody i am hasluti the artist when did yeah. that happen that is the moment when you realize that you know the younger days are over yes and maybe the old paintings can open you a new door right. you realize that yeah yes that time and it's around let's say in 2014 2014 right that time i realized that that there that, that, that is a goal so ground like a center to play football and the, the manager calls me to tell me that we need you to draw some images here right yeah around the goofy places around market area there were a lot of people were passing so i just went there i was said wow there was not no good in this but i said let me just go and try and i go I hit it nice they were happy so I feel like wow for me now in this crowded area I do my things and people see that it's perfect I said no way so I have to go no running back and that's the time in that area people realize that oh this boy is doing this they will be calling me we need to do this to my shop come and do this has to be i need you to go do this for me at my shop so i said ah oh, well now it's time now <laughs> it's art exactly when yes all no more all the thing that's right absolutely yeah. and and how does that feel for you how does what's that feel like when people come to you when people come to me i feel happy and i feel like you know in my side when i think about And I think, said to myself, yeah, maybe the way I think about myself, the way people are handling it, is different. I, I tell that I'm a low guy in this, but people tell me that you know I'm perfect. So when they come to me, say, wow, what do people think about me? I feel inside. So I feel happy. I don't feel proud about it. I just feel like I always tell them that you know 
I'm just an amateur trying it. Always that's my word. I say I'm trying it. When I go, some will ask me, "Can you do this?" I said, "No." I'm saying I will try. They said, "No, we don't want to hurt." You said, "Try." We want you to say, "Yes, I can do." It. I said, no. <laughs> yes. Let me just go and try. Yeah. Exactly. So when I go, you yeah. do it with that conviction. Yes. So how does that? How does that? How does that conviction in the present? How is that pushing you forward? What is your vision for the future for yourself? Right now, each of my service time, I want to own a big gallery, and I want my artworks to be every to be seen every part of the world. Right. On, I want to own a big gallery in Gambia here. Thereby, I can work with my boys. I have some boys in my normally go with them. So then, yes, I advise them not to uh, turn back, just like I did. Right. So I advise them that yeah. So I, I, I wish that's my dream to have a big gallery in Gambia here yeah, to work with them. And I wish to see my artwork every part of you. Wonderful. That's um. So you you are you are you are being like a, you are a teacher then to these younger younger people. Thank you. That I I have been a teacher all my life in one way shape or form and it's a very rewarding position to be in, isn't it? Sure. Um. What if people wanted to get a hold of you? What is the best way to get a hold of you? Do you have a website, Hasguti, or do you have what's the best way people can get a hold of you on Instagram if they wanted to explore more about your work or just um, follow you? What's the best way? Instagram. 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 Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. you heard that. This, um, my guest tonight has been Hasguti, all the way from the Gambia, Africa, a fine yeah. artist and a, a very, very wise young man with an old soul. And um, he's Hasguti, this has been a wonderful opportunity to get to know you and a little bit about your art and the way you, your philosophy of life and the way it is expressed in your beautiful, the beautiful artwork that you're creating. And I am so honored and humbled at the same time that you have chosen me as a subject of one of your uh, art pieces. I look forward to seeing it when you are ready to unveil it. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, again, namaste. This is J.P. Michaels signing off from the Academy of Enlightenment, where the faithfully fashionable come to learn that without faith in yourself, you don't have a chance to have any. And without style, you don't have a chance in hell. Thanks, Hasguti. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye.